I had to make this video. It's got to be made. Um, I'm watching all the videos of like Mr. Olympia. I'm not even going to say the names. It doesn't matter. I'm not pointing at any one individual. But there's a lot of ill people, people that are not mentally well in the bodybuilding, fitness, and figure world. And if you need any evidence of that, then, uh, well... Just go look at any of the popular channels and you see guys like copying some of these people and jacking their, well, what they think is copying and they're jacking themselves full of synthol and all the other stuff, which, you know, most people don't know what it is. But I know some of the dudes that like invented that stuff. And if I don't know them, then I know the people that know them know them. <laughs> well, just because you're Mr. Olympia and all the other stuff, you don't know the dirty underbelly of the industry. They're just Mr. Olympia. They take, they take the end-of-the-line products. They're not in the manufacturing, the distribution, the everything. I know everything in that industry. I don't, I'm not in that industry anymore. I have nothing to do with it for like over 20 years. I haven't taken anything for over 10 years myself. Nothing, not even testosterone replacement therapy. And by the way, yeah, I'm proud to be 151 pounds. And I have guys come up to me at a normal gym now and go, holy crap, man, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. I get in that light bed there, you know? So you can have a real physique. I don't even work out. <laughs> People are like, anatomy chart, oh my God, how do you look like that? Light therapy. Protons, electrons, neutrons. You run on two-thirds of your electron energy alone comes from Grounding, that's passive electron collection. If you don't know what these things are, go and look it up. If you want to argue with me about any of it, and you want to get, you're one of those people in the bodybuilding world, then go talk to Jack, Dr. Jack Cruz. He's got like three medical residencies. That means he's done more than 15 years just in regular school. Okay, if you've got more education than that, please let me know. And then he's got 25 plus years as a neurosurgeon practicing, that means he's operated on every tissue of the body, every type from neuron, bone, fat, everything. He's also an eye surgeon before. He knows all about the eye. And he knows the metabolism begins in the eye. And that's why bodybuilders, there was only one time in this world's history where there were real people called bodybuilders. There was like little over a hundred of them and they lived in one spot in California and there was no technology. There was no fake lights except incandescence. And for the most part, they didn't even train with the friggin' lights on. It was like kind of like, you know, the old one incandescent lighting up half the gym. And they lived in California. There was no technology. There's no cell phones. They stayed outside for 78 hours a day. Look at all the interviews with people like Tom Platts. Even the ones that got exceedingly freaking big for the time, like Tom Platt's, like legs, like amazing. But just looked, looked good. Just perfect skin. You know, you get up really, if you actually, even someone that's like super famous now, is famous now in bodybuilding, everyone looks the same. Oh, someone looks a little more 3D than somebody else. Someone look, it's all the same. There isn't a unique physique out there. A few of the younger guys now, there's a Canadian guy, Bumstead. Eh, sort of, but it's still extreme and it's still not a unique physique. Doesn't look anything like the physiques of the real classic bodybuilders because there were only a very select few of them and they're all gone or they're retired and they're like guys like Tom Platts who could still squat 315 for 16 reps right to the basement olympic style heels together Are you kidding me i talked to a kid at the gym yesterday and he's not even 20 and he already has joint problems and he's complaining i asked him do you have any joint problems any yeah i was like they just say it like it's common it's never been seen before i'm going back through all the tmz stuff because I posted up after Dallas McCarver died, I thought maybe it was a little too early, but I was like, this is not too early. I've been talking about this for a long time, and I said exactly what happened and what came out in the autopsy report. Look up what a polymath is, and then you'll get a, a slight description of what I am. I just never admitted it before, because I bought into the hype, and the not the hype, 
the stigmatization of the bodybuilder. Because I was probably one, I was one of the last real bodybuilders to exist because I got mentored by an unknown pro IFBB who left bodybuilding right after he got his pro card, even though he would have roasted like freaking everybody in that freaking competition. He didn't even take any, he was, he dabbled around with a tiny bit of growth hormone after he turned pro just for his own shits and giggles. And I, there's one picture of him, he's just like, just, he was, he was twice as big as I'd ever seen him. If he had a continued for like 15 years, it would have been like Bonac with a tiny small waist and like per perfect proportions, right? So, that guy retired because he knew bodybuilding was over. And he didn't even go to, he wouldn't even go to a fi figure show. Figure, that's, that's just women doing the same thing. It's just pure drugs. None of them had to train. Careers that last like this long. You know, torn pecs, torn this, torn that. There was no such thing when these guys were on, when, when the, the, the real golden age of bodybuilding was. The golden era of bodybuilding. Uh, you know, modern bodybuilding ended right around when my mentor left. I want to have him on my channel for sure because he's like the most motivational dude. He does talks for like uh, and of course I'm wearing these for some reason like I even wear them at the gym they see me and it's funny I got all the interviews and stuff people like on the street like normal people that aren't in bodybuilding you know the ones that have a brain that have enough dopamine because you can literally say that because the reason why guys are taking testosterone and stuff now is very simple but you got to go and read like you know books like this that have in the back of it like like, I don't think that most bodybuilders now would even understand the words in the index, let alone the studies that they're quoting. Do you know what PP15 means? It means page and paragraph. It's like how to cite a study. But you wouldn't know that because all you're doing is watching idiots online quoting bro science and paid for by magazine articles and stuff. Real scientists... Real ones do their own studies sometimes. N of one. Oh, wow, look at how blue that is. But you wouldn't know. You haven't seen the color blue for real. You can't take off a pair of shields that blocks 400 to 490 nanometer photons that are making dopamine in your eyes in the morning while you're grounded. Why do you think it's called the body electric? This guy's been published in more studies than you can imagine. And all of these books are available at chapters now. You didn't have to spend 20 grand to get all these studies like Dr. Cruz did. And then he hacked on them. Da, 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 da. He did them. Blood work to prove it. Increased length of telomeres means he's getting younger. He's extending his life. He can make them go like this. You can't even keep your waist size the same. We could do a time lapse of a pro bodybuilder now. That would be a time lapse. Fat, small, small micro yo-yo dieting. No one knows anything about nutrition or anything. Food electrons supply one third only of all the energy needed for the body. And when pro bodybuilders, that group of like a hundred guys, Arnold and all those guys, live down in California with no no technology, nothing. They lived outside. They trained outside. Sometimes they squatted on the beach for seven or eight hours while the other guys were eat, drinking whole milk. <sighs> Non-pasteurized, so it doesn't give you all the crazy joint problems and everything. <sighs> Don't even want to get into that. There's so many little nitty gritties you can get into, you'd miss the broad picture. There is no more bodybuilding. When you take anabolics now, you are draining your freaking bones and your infrastructure of your entire freaking body. It's stealing all of the conductive elements. It's like vampiring. <laughs> and you wonder why everyone's got torn ACLs, torn this, torn that, rip rotators, torn pack. It's never been seen before. It was there was name one 
Name one pro bodybuilder from back in the day that had like a really bad. There aren't any. <laughs> now everybody torn pack this, torn pack that, ACL this, wrote rip that. A kid the, again, the kid at the gym, perfect example. Thinks it's normal that he's got arthritis and he's not even twenty one. Dr. Cruz will tell you he does neurosurgery. He puts spines and brains back together. Like if you got run over by a bus, stuff like that. World renowned, published in his field, neurosurgery. Actually, he's just a lowly neurosurgeon. They look down on people like that. It's kind of like the stigmatization around bodybuilders too. You know, like how people would look at me when I was jacked and I'd have to like try to impress them by telling them what an exciton was, but I didn't even know that back then. But I could certainly tell them a whole bunch of other stuff that they were like, how'd that guy know that? His arms are so big. How does that? Uh, maybe maybe there's a new thing where they their like brains are in your arms then because I thought people with big muscles are stupid. I understand stigmatism greater than you know. <laughs> Gives me a great perspective. Gotta love this hat that my friend made me for Christmas. If I had hair left, it's like so you could put your dreads and stuff underneath, something like that. But it's certainly cool, and it definitely helps me mitigate a little bit more of the fake light that's coming into my environment. Oh, by the way, let me show you. Um, I'll put them in the show notes, okay? I got ones that I let people wear at the gym. Oh, they look jet. They're perfect. They're called T90s. And they're just regular. look like regular. Like they're just the, the, the style of glasses that everybody's wearing on King Street. A little kind of semi-horn rim, a little dot here. You look studious. You're like, ew. I look like I go to University of Toronto and study photography. Or whatever. This is way more effective, but nobody will wear them. Even when they tell you for like two weeks they were wearing them when no one could see them. And they sleep better and they felt better and they got more energy and they haven't had to drink any coffee and their headaches go away. Blah, 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 blah. Then one person will come along and go, what are you wearing those for? And then all of a sudden they're in the drawer. What are you wearing those for? And then they're in the drawer. Gone. They're only 18 bucks, but no one will wear them, even if they are better for your health. They're more effective than any pill, potion, or lotion that you could buy. But no one will wear them because you're too afraid of people that come by and even say hi. That's how bad our society is. We can't even talk to each other. And you think that you're mentally well while you're copying bodybuilding.com video routines. You think you are. I'm watching you in the gym and just laughing. I'm like, that's not what's in that video. I'm a kinesiologist. That's a human movement specialist. I watch what people call human movement in the gym now. Huh. People don't even know how to move. Let alone, like, can't even walk. Let alone freaking lift weights. Some awkward looking travesty. All the popular YouTubers that you're listening to that say they know about bodybuilding, even the ones that I kind of like, they don't know anything. Because knowing is having done it. So basically, like I say, I'm one of the group of wave of people that was the last of the real bodybuilders. Done. I dreamed of being one. It was too late. The only difference now really is there is technology everywhere. It is impossible to be a bodybuilder now. There is no such thing. To get even the look that they have, they have to take multiple, multiple different types of compounds, stuff themselves, fill themselves. Why well, I think pumpkin belly is what they call that. It's just a distended gut from eating way too much carbohydrates to support the fake muscle mass that they're not supporting on the underneath and their bones are being drained, which is why guys like Big Ramey have already torn their fucking patellar tendon, ACL, all this stuff, just because they jumped off like a little two-foot step. <laughs> you think people are tough that are big like that? I'd take one of those guys and break them in half. I worked on the door for 20 years and I got all my bone mass. Literally. If I fought one of those guys, I'd just smash his knees to pieces and he'd just be like, ah, ah, ah. I don't care how big you are. <laughs> the 
big huge dude that you're having a look that's having a fight there's a doorman at the bar is just as scared as the small one how do i know 20 years on the door that's how i know and eventually when people trust you and they know that you're one of those types of people they'll talk to you about it and many people have but funnily enough none of them quit because they don't realize that they're addicted to testosterone physically and mentally it means you can get bigger so that you don't have to worry about communicating because people are scared of you so therefore you lose all ability you're, you, you're emotionally you're, you're stunted in your growth so sad that it happened to me because I, I worked in the door in the night and everything but I know because I'm constantly analyzing myself for on a scientific level journaling auto journaling writing it down video what do I look like? What am I eating? What's my inflammation level? Blood work, blood work, blood work. <laughs> Real blood work. HSCRP. I challenge any pro bodybuilder out there now. Sorry. Any pro body augmentor out there now. Go and get your HSCRP done. That's right. None of you get real blood work done. Just like I didn't. Because you're shit scared of what it'll look like if you actually got the real ones done. Your inflammation level is probably way over a 15 out of a 20, and you're burning up. And you're going to be dead 20 to 30 years before your time, just like Dallas McCarver. And I got to check those things again. Because I made those comments, and I believe they've been deleted. And I want to see if Mr. David Pecker runs TMZ. So I'm going to go and check that, and then I'll continue this rant. Maybe after six more months, because it's actually really boring. And those people are lost. And I got way better people to concentrate on, like youth and millennial that are at York University, which is where I'm going right after I finish this. But I was talking to my new landlord who appreciates the male form. Guess what? He looked at the new bodybuilders, which he'd never looked at before because he deals with like people that are like molecular biologists and stuff, like real educated people, people that are like, you know, executive producers of Dragon's Den, stuff like that. These are just his personal friends over his life. And nobody knows who he is. And I hope that I can introduce the world to this guy. He's been in like a hundred countries, speaks like five languages. That's a renaissance person. So for all you millennials out there, I don't like calling you millennials. It's not the right word. For all you wonderful, completely lateral thinking brains that are like my co-host coming up on at Radio Fusion, Chris Dick, D-Y-C-K. 140 horsepower brain, Chris. Those millennials are like Chris. I'm talking to you because this affects you in a big way. And if you're looking at your screen draining your dopamine, if you're looking at your screen draining your dopamine, it's going to make you scream eventually. You know what I mean? You will. Because you're in mental pain, I know, because I've been there. You know how easy it is for it to go away? Number one, you got to systemize. This is what I talk to. Every person that I talk to from like my age all the way down, if I describe it in the correct way, they're all like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. If I didn't have that nine to five system that I was stuck in, I, I would actually, I wouldn't be able to actually function. We're starting to open these conversations. There's going to be a youth association at York. I will get my PhD, master's, whatever it is. I'm going to have a piece of paper that's like official. Or I'm going to have all the pieces of paper that have my marks that are the equivalents. Cause so if you get a X, whatever degree X is, and you took this course, this course, this course, this course, this course to get that and then wrote the test, I'll have done this course, this course, this course, this course, this course and written that test. And I'll have gotten just as good or a better mark, which means I have that degree. I don't need the piece of paper. You can go to school and take whatever you want. You just check in, get your friggin' student card and go and register for whatever course you want. You just got to be able to pay for it. I paid all my OSAP cash, $20 bills, 20 grand. <laughs> Long time ago. I'm not doing it with OSAP this time. I don't have to. I know how to make money. Made crap piles of it. Makes you miserable if you don't know what to do with it. Makes you miserable anyway because, well, you have to watch it. Uh, no, I won't even mention that. Wouldn't want anyone to go off down some hyperbolic friggin' rabbit hole uh, doing some semantical argumentation about some bullshit. This is with the broad strokes, folks. Believe me. 
It's very simple if you want to look good and you want to feel healthy. And I'll guarantee you right now, if you could actually get inside the body of a body augmentor right now, you won't feel good. Not mentally, not physically, not spiritually, not nothingly. We got to bring back real old school, but it's almost impossible. The only way that you could possibly believe that by the way, this is called red light therapy. They do it in horses, funnily enough. You want to know why a horse is so freaking huge? It's just because they eat grass. It's because they have massive eyeballs, and that's how they make all their ATP. Because all the molar, the majority of our ATP, adenosine triphosphate, that wonderful molecule that like our body produces its own body weight in invisible molecules. You're producing your own body weight every 24 hours. So it's making a whole new you, just an energy every 24 hours that you can't even see. <laughs> and you think it comes from food. I could go on show and I could go on stage in a natural show right now. None of them are natural. Most of them are taking growth hormone things that they don't test for, that's all. We don't do real tests anyway. And uh, I know all the inside parts of that maybe we'll get into all that we'll have some real conversation with people that are involved deeply with that okay the, it's just sham testing oh that guy's natural the guy's got a guy and all this like nah. like oh he's natural look at look at, he's, he's totally natural look at oh yeah his tits bigger than his friggin arm <laughs> it's totally natural yeah, we did the test. Oh, yeah, that little thing. Is, oh, it's this heart rate monitor. One painkiller. Total deadening of the central nervous system. You can lie. No, I've never taken any of that. It doesn't have galvanic skin response. It doesn't have response. Nothing. It's a joke. It's a travesty. Those tests, they cost a ton, and you need a specialist. Just to have the specialist do it, you'd have to be thousands of dollars. Polygraph specialist, give me a break. Anyway, I could go on, but I won't. Because if you are low dopamine, the truth will be in front of your eyes and you cannot perceive it, quote Dr. Jack Cruz. Jack Cruz has got way more degrees than you so you can't use the ad hominem stick on him, can you? Because then he just takes it and beats you over your own head with it, with your own education. <laughs> so go talk to him if you want to get into all the arguments about the real semantical rabbit hole bullshit that it gets everyone distracted about the broad picture of what's going on in society. The majority of people are sick physically and mentally because of our technology. And bodybuilders, modern body augmentors are a byproduct of an idea that was amazing that has now been just, it's gone. It's not possible anymore. I feel really, really compassionate towards them. I could have been there. I could have, but thank God I'm not. This is me, drug free. No replacement therapy. I'll be seeing you up at York U. We'll see what happens this time when I'm not addled. <laughs> I didn't even have to study back then, even. <laughs> yeah, TTC's free today. They just opened it right in the middle of Vary Hall. Go and look up Vary Hall. There's an upside down tree. I've walked it many times. I've walked by it so many times, but I didn't remember. Ritalin can make you forget. I didn't take Ritalin though. It was just really similar. Cause I was a biohacking buccaneer even back then. And I didn't know what I was doing. Just like you guys don't. 
I'm a scientist, so I figured it out. 